So we can pass to the next session. So we continue to talk to street level uh, uh, imagery. And now we talk from we talk from Christine about uh, the flux alternative for ground your ground level images. So the floor is yours. Hello, thank you for staying in in the room. Um, I'm uh, Christian Quest. I'm from uh, OpenStreetMap in France. Uh, I'm one of the, the founder of the French chapter. And uh, I've been mapping on OpenStreetMap for quite a long time now, since 2009. And I started uh, doing photo mapping very early uh, because for me it was the best way to collect very quickly information on the field and then go back at home with JOSM and uh, uh, in, in update OpenStreetMap data. Uh, why Panoramax? You've seen Mapillary. Uh, it's providing a lot of service. It's very interesting, but for me, my open way of thinking, I have a few problems. And uh, I think we need a, a real digital common with pictures, uh, a non-for-profit project, because we have a resource, a, a, a growing catalogue of pictures. We all take pictures, we all need pictures to improve OpenStreetMap. Uh, we need rules, clear rules, open license, open code, open code. Uh, based on existing standard, no new thing. And a community with a lot of people, public sector, OpenStreetMap contributor, private sector, and we need uh, an open governance. That's, it's not technical, but it's uh, more political, but we need an open governance. So that's why I proposed that project a long time ago, before Mapillary exists, but it started only one year ago. So Panoramax is a new open way to share uh, our ground level photo. I, I, the real full floss is important. All the code we, we do is open uh, for the back end, for the upload API, for the, the blurring, etc. Everything is open. Uh, it's completely independent of private interest. So buyouts or things like that are not a problem. Uh, open governance. I already said it's important. It's very important. A decentralized service, that's also very important. I cannot imagine one actor storing for years pictures of all around the world without having a problem a day or another with that actor. So we need a decentralized system with a federation. We need easy and full access to the pictures. To our picture, the one I uploaded, and to other people's picture because they wanted to share it. Uh, we used to have a takeout facility. That it's not there anymore. Uh, so we really need to have a very easy access to the pictures. We need to stick to existing standards. Do not reinvent the wheel. Uh, it's better to extend existing open tools that recreate a new one every time. So we started with an existing code base, which is called GeoVisio. Maybe you've heard of it. I possibility you never heard of it. But the idea is really to avoid to have a single point of failure. The original idea, as I said, uh, something I proposed to uh, the Geographic Institute in France back in 2011 or 12. Uh, so it's not new. But in 2021, uh, the Geographic Institute uh, opened consultation about what they called geo commons. And the answer from OpenStreetMap France has been we need to create such a database together. Uh, I did a presentation at the several uh, state of the map France. And uh, finally, uh, IGN <laughs> decided to go for it. Uh, a year ago, by creating what something a bit special we have in France, it's it's we call that a state startup. It works more or less like a startup, but it's public funded. Uh, the goal is to create useful tools for the general interest, 
but we run with a very agile way with uh, sh small uh, developer teams uh, with short cycles and uh, okay and uh, so the startup has been has been funded by public money for one for the last the past year and um, the team is small it's three full-time positions i'm part of the team uh, and we released the first uh, version in uh, may june it's based on existing code we improved that code we we, we added features etc uh, etc et and the funding for the next year has been decided last monday so good news that's the team so i'm one small portion of the team uh, you have the developers you have uh, people inside IGN etc etc we also as I said we need an open governance so what we do in that team at, at the Geographic Institute we try to not to decide by ourselves but with the community with people that have been uh, that show up when we said okay we want to build something together come to us and come on the forum and discuss about what features are really important for you, what are the next priority, etc., etc. So we have monthly uh, uh, online meetings, uh, etc., etc. So how does it work? <clears throat> we want a decentralized thing. So what we did is we had the idea to have what we call Panoramax instances, servers. They are autonomous. And they take care of photo storage. They expose a catalog of the photo. And uh, they have an API to upload new, new photo and to search in the database. And they provide also a, a view, viewer interface. We have a blurring service. So we do the blurring for the faces and the license plates. And uh, the blurring, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the, the slides are, have been uh, uh, destroyed by transferring them to PDF. <laughs> uh, the blurring is independent of the, the instance. So, for example, we have for the moment one blurring service, but it is called by the two instances that we have set up so far, the one from OpenStreetMap and the one from IGN. So it detects face, lesson plates, and more. Uh, and we have a meta catalog. The meta catalog is, is looking at the data on each instance and exposing the result. I'm going to explain that. So a Panoramax instance stores picture. The main problem in that project is storage. Terabytes, petabytes. So it's really storage. Uh, we pre-tile 360 picture because uh, to view them, they are tiled. Uh, we keep all the metadata in the picture. That is very important. So if you send a picture, one of uh, the key points for us is keep all the possible data. Do not modify the JPEG quality, for example. So we really want to preserve as much data as possible. The Panoramax instance has a local catalog of the available photo. It runs with a Postgre database and Python code. We have a search and access API, which is based on an existing standard, which is called STACK, Spatio-Temporal Assets Catalog. STACK is not a small project. Uh, it's, uh, it's maintained by uh, people like Airbus, Maxar, uh, so it's major players, mostly in satellite imagery, but not only. NASA also. Uh, so we provide uh, interoperability use through that uh, existing uh, standard. To upload photo to Panoramax, we, uh, we did a web interface with a drag and drop. We also have a command line tool and we have an API. So if you want to write some code or integrate uploading picture to a Panoramax instance, uh, it's simply a post 
uh, API HTTP call to our server. And it's very simple to implement. Then you have uh, the question is when you have multiple instances, it's to which instance do I upload my picture? Currently, there is two public instances that are open for uploads. Uh, the one from the Geographic Institute and the one set up by OpenStreetMap France. They have different licensing. We will see that later. So, public sector, they should use the IGN because of licensing. I don't go in the details. Uh, OpenStreetMap France, we decided to install our own uh, Panoramax instance. So uh, it's a full bare metal uh, server. Uh, it's hosted in a data center near Paris. Uh, it, it's second hand hardware except SSDs. We invested uh, only 3,000 euro in it, but we can store, yeah, some picture. We use, for example, for the moment, only 50% of our storage and we have more room to add a new disk. This is what it's looking. <laughs> and this is what it's looking in the data center because the other one was in my basement doing the test. So we also uh, do uh, AI and computer vision on, on, uh, on the photo. For the moment, it's quite basic stuff. What we do mainly is the detection of faces and license plates, and it's because of the blurring requirement. Uh, we did a collaborative annotation for that. So we prepared uh, a few hundreds, then a few thousands of pictures, and uh, the annotation has been collaborative. Uh, we, we did uh, three classes for the face, for license plates, and for the road signs. Uh, we trained the model. Uh, don't go in the detail, we, we use yellow uh, version 8 for that. We do multi-resolution detec multi detection on picture because when you have um, um, 360 uh, pictures, problem is you have to detect objects that are far away, but also objects that are very close to, to, to the camera. Uh, currently, it runs on two servers. We have uh, a total of five GPU uh, taking care of that. We can blur more or less uh, 200, uh, 250,000 pictures a day. Uh, one, it's a detail, but technical detail, but it's important. When we blur a portion of the JPEG file, we don't change the pixels around because JPEG files are organized in blocks, eight by eight pixels. We switch the blocks, but the blocks that are not affected by blurring, I Kept, are kept exactly as you sent them. We have capabilities to unblur. We can keep the blurred part, but with no link with the original picture. And if you, it's important when, when we have a false positive, if we want to, to remove the blurring of a part that did not need to be blurred, it's, it's a possibility. We don't really use it, but we implemented it. Uh, the meta catalog. It's uh, another. It's not an instance. It's another service that harvests the catalog of all the instances that are listed, and expose. It copies only the metadata. It does not copy the picture because the storage would pr would be a, a, another problem, and it provides exactly the same API to search and to access the pictures. The, the goal is re really to have a, a seamless uh, uh, experience when you browse through the, the meta catalog. So you can see it on api.paranormize.xyz. Um, and I, I'm going to show it to you if I get the little box. <laughs> Do you have? A few questions about what you've seen for the moment. How big is? 
How big is the data model for the, not the data model, the model for the uh, blurring AI service? How big? Uh, well, in my GPU, it uses uh, around uh, two gigabytes. To, so to have an idea of the kind of GPU you need. So the GPU we have are eight gigabytes. Uh, it's, they are quite old, but uh, it's enough for what we do. So this is the panoramax.fr uh, website. And uh, uh, a Panoramax uh, instance looks like this, if it's okay for the upload, for the, I don't have the map. So the viewer is, allows you to, to go uh, between the pictures and uh, something you, you are quite familiar with. There's nothing really new about that. So you may not see it, but the, the license plates and everything are, are blurred. Um, interesting thing, I'm not going to demonstrate it now, but here you have uh, the sharing link where you see uh, the license for the picture. Uh, you can have a link to the page, to the image itself. You have uh, uh, RSS to, to get n the flow of new pictures coming. Uh, you have the code to embed, and you also have uh, small tools to synchronize your uh, OpenStreetMap editor position with the, the position in the viewer. So we have not created a plugin so far, but it's an easy way to work with the picture on, in one window and to work with your editor in another window if you have not a very small screen. Uh, this is uh, to show you the... <laughs> I'm going to reload it. I hope it's going to display it correctly. This is Lyon area on uh, the, the OpenStreetMap instance. So these are mostly uh, pictures that have been uh, provided by uh, OpenStreetMap contributor. And this is the same area. On IGN uh, server. And this, if I reload it, is the federation of both. So it's the picture coming from both instance, but you, you view them as a one giant catalog and you can uh, view uh, the same way and it may come from IGN or it may come from OpenStreetMap or, or, or from others. What else? Do we know? This is okay. We can go back to the slides unless you want to see something specific but maybe at the end. Is there any other question <laughs> already? Ah. Simon. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Um, the obvious question is from an OpenStreetMap point of view, editor integration. Are you planning to do that yourself or are you assuming that um, JOSM and ID um, we'll get that via their developers or whatever. It's not uh, the priority for the, the, the team at uh, IGN. I think the priority, may, but I will explain a bit later. Uh, it's, it's more to, to have a, um, a more contribution. Uh, and uh, because it, it's like a, a, a big... Uh, uh, a big tube, you have to put things in the beginning to have enough stuff at the end so that people think, okay, it's interesting to implement it because there's enough uh, content. Uh, for the moment, we have 10 million pictures, but we just opened uh, the service uh, in uh, June, so it's quite new. 
Okay. Open Panoramax, Open Street Map contribution. So uh, we have two uh, instances for the moment, but I hope we will have more uh, very soon. Uh, the licensing on both instances are compatible with OpenStreetMap contribution, so there's no problem for that. We did something a bit special on the OpenStreetMap side because we wanted to have a share alike license for the picture. But if we put the picture in a clear uh, in a CC by SA only, you cannot use them to uh, improve a, a ODBL data database. So we decided to have a CC by SA for the picture themselves, but an authorization to create ODBL or open license data with the picture. Uh, there is a very basic uh, JOSM and ID uh, integration, uh, but at least there is something. Uh, so the, in that case, the, the viewer in Panoramax uh, loads the, the, with the remote control system, loads the recenter the, the, the view in the, in the editor, which I've been using it. It's already very uh, helpful. Um, there's a possible integration with all the ecosystem tool, but uh, I expect to have a oh yeah, important thing when you go on the OpenStreetMap uh, uh, instance, uh, you already have an account, it's your OpenStreetMap account. We use the OpenStreetMap uh, login for that. On IGN, it's separate. I expect to have a, um, mobile apps, uh, OSM related mobile apps to implement uh, viewing and uploading picture to Panoramax. I would love to see in, in organic map when I, I find a restaurant to have a picture of the restaurant. If there's no picture, to have the possibility to send the picture of the restaurant. Uh, Street Complete could, could ask people to send a picture or something, etc., etc. And it's quite easy to implement. Uh, the future is more instance. We have two. Uh, OpenStreetMap Belgium is really on its way for that. Uh, there's maybe other local chapter. Uh, Simon said Switzerland is thinking about it. Uh, I hope to have more and more and more. We can help you to set up the server. Uh, it's quite easy to deploy, to test. There is Docker installation and things like that, but if you want to go further, there's no problem, we can help you. Uh, some French local authority are planning to deploy their own server and join the, the meta catalog. More picture, of course. So I just received a, a disk with uh, all Strasbourg area uh, to, to upload. We have contact with Paris City, we have contact with uh, several major uh, cities in France. Uh, larger community, uh, open governance, and we think about registering a, a, a non-profit organization. For the moment, we have no organization dedicated to the project, but I think it would be a good thing to have a non-profit registered organization. Well, Panoramax International Foundation, this is a, a joke, of course, but uh, maybe not. Uh, local Panoramax instance is really uh, what I think uh, about it. Uh, so Belgium, Switzerland, who else? Who's next? Um, equipment sharing. Uh, there's already a, a, a OSM Belgium who is doing things like that. In France, we invested in, in cameras and we are sharing them with local groups. So this, this is really... Uh, the, the, the next step to have more, more content uh, flowing in uh, the project. Uh, in our team, the public state startup, our roadmap is, is, goes in three axes. The, the first is really increase and simplify contribution to have more contribution. So we think about uh, working on the ded dedicated mobile app to capture a picture uh, in, in a, a better way. Uh, more tools and documentation. This is also to help people to, to contribute. The second axis is to reinforce the, the, the software stack we, we, uh, on which we work uh, for the moment, 
to scale, to have more features, to optimize a few things. Uh, and then uh, multiply the, the, the reuse of, of the, the photo. So there's also, uh, there are some people already working on a, a plugin for QGIS. Uh, why not S3? We are also in contact with them. Uh, and there's also a very important thing is all the thing we can extract from the, the photo. So we already worked on object detection and I already started working on the classification of the road signs. Uh, it's really the first thing that everybody is asking and uh, it's um, the first thing on which uh, we, we worked. Um, so the, the blurring uh, service, uh, it, it, it detects faces and, and license plates, but it also detects road signs at the, at the same time. So the good thing is that we are not running in another uh, model for that. And uh, for the moment, I have uh, 3 million of road signs that have been detected. And uh, I did classify the quickly before coming here. Uh, a part of it, I think 25%. Um, the classification model is already trained for the, the road signs. Um, the training data set for the road signs is 40,000 uh, photos. We detect 200 types of road signs. It has been trained on French road signs, so there's some differences in other countries. I cannot be sure it will detect uh, as well the others, but retraining is not a big problem. There's more detection to come because uh, we already have a, a discussion on the French Forum about what kind of objects we want to prioritize in the, the detection in the next collaborative annotation. And the collaborative annotation is also a very important thing. It's really an open project. This is, for example, the only the 30 kilometer speed limit in the Lyon area, just to have a view of uh, <laughs> all the all the signs we detected, and uh, but we detect all all the others and we classify them uh, the same way. Some of them are more difficult to classify uh, than the other. I can tell you that when your classification model can make the difference between the triangle, the warning about cows and warning about sheep. It's okay. It's okay. Questions, 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 as much as you want. So, yeah, I'm a member of Open Street from Belgium. Indeed, we are on the way, but I always wonder why should we use another instance instead of using one of the existing instances? Are there rules that says, yeah, why not upload our million of pictures in OpenStreetMap friends instance? That's not what we are going to do. It's just an open question. <laughs> because uh, in the short term, if you have picture and you want to test it and, and make sure it works, uh, the blurring is okay, uh, no problem. We, there is no a technical restriction. Yeah. But I don't think OpenStreetMap friends will be able to store all the picture of all OpenStreetMap contributors. Okay. Or we will need some help. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. I, I planned the, the equipment we have for the moment, if we put disk in them, etc., and we don't have disk for, for all the space that is planned, uh, we can host more or less one petabyte uh, of storage. And uh, one petabyte of storage, if you buy a used disk, not new ones, it's more or less 20,000 euros. It's not something impossible for, for the association, but uh, okay, why OpenStreetMap France would, would finance that for everybody? It's yeah, of bit, yeah. Okay. thanks. <laughs> I was wondering about uh, duplication. So if I upload my images to two different panoramic sentences, does it know about it? 
No, not really, because they are completely uh, ignorant about what the other is doing. They will not have the same ID, etc. So it's, there's no benefit to do multiple upload. <laughs> Absolutely no benefit. Uh, so you should avoid uh, doing multiple upload. Uh, Christian, I have probably the, the obvious question that you would expect from me. Have you done any formal inquiry with the French Data Protection Office and, and uh, they, they are aware that you are doing this? Because this is probably something that you would, for Everything. other instances, would have yes, to do. Yes. It was one of the, of the important topics. I did not discuss about it because it's a French specific topic, even if the problem is, or fact, the problem, the, 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 the topic is more or less the same in a lot of countries. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, the way we do it, so we we blur, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's no problem about that. Uh, there's already a lot of pictures of that kind that are uh, taken and that are published. So, if the data protection uh, agency had to say something, they would have said it sometime before. And uh, and. Uh, we showed them our blurring process, etc. Cetera, et cetera. It's, well, one thing, it's not official, but I'm in close contact with them. We showed them what we do, the way we do it, and they were very happy the way we were doing it. And uh, so things uh, on the legal side are, are clear about, about that. But I don't know if uh, about the, the, um, uh, the laws in other countries, it may be different. Uh, so. I, I cannot answer, I can only answer for friends. Yes, uh, there's uh, one here. Closer. The, the uh, server that you showed on the picture, is that the server for OpenStreetMap France or is that the server for, uh, um, the, uh, for IGN? Which one? The one when I showed everything? It, the 3,000 euro server. <laughs> ah, uh, the, that one is the OpenStreetMap server. Uh, IGN is uh, fully cloud-based, oh, okay. but I, I know it cost them already more than 3,000 euros. Yeah, 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 I figured. Uh, and one more question. Um, if someone wanted to, uh, are there any plans for tools to take existing images from Mapillary and import them into a Panoramax instance? And how would, is there anything in place that could like result in not having duplicates if someone has Mapillary enabled in their editor and Panoramax enabled in their editor that they don't see like multiple of the same images in the same uh, If you want to retrieve your picture from Mapillary, uh, it used to be easy because there was a service to do the uh, takeout, but the service disappeared. Uh, some people uh, wrote scripts to use the existing Mapillary API to retrieve list of, of sequences of pictures, etc., etc. So it's possible to do it. It's not very easy, but it's possible. Uh, uh, the takeout in France, uh, when when there has been the, the, the buyout by Meta of Mapillary, uh, several people and big contributors did a takeout. And we retrieved uh, a few millions of uh, photos like that. I stored them in a bunch of hard disks in my basement for a couple of years. And then we installed uh, our Panoramax instance. And one of the first thing we did is upload all the things we, we took out a couple of years ago. And uh, we are going to, to retrieve uh, more of our own picture, but we just retrieve the, our picture. We do not retrieve other people's picture. But there's tools to do that if you want, yes. Hi. Um, going back to the uh, privacy question, which I, I find important because uh, this type of map, map data can um, influence people's lives in, in, a, in a very real way if, if the privacy isn't. Uh, so you said you can unblur um, photos. That sounds potentially like a problem. Can you talk about that a bit? Uh, I can give some more details. What, when we, if you uh, 
send a picture for blurring, by default, we keep nothing, except the road signs we have detected. This is the only thing we keep. We don't keep anything about the picture. If you ask to, to keep for unblur, we can keep only the detection that have a bad confidence. If we have a high confidence that it is a license plate or a face, we don't keep it. If, if it's possibly a false positive, we keep it. But we keep it in a way that we cannot, we, we cannot find the original picture. It's even encrypted on our disk, and we don't even keep the key to encrypt it. When we send back the picture to the, the people who ask us to do the, the blurring, we send them back the key <laughs> to retrieve and recreate the, the original picture. But we have nothing to... And this I explained to the, the privacy agency in France, and they really like that principle. That sounds really good. Um, and uh, what, what is the moderation mechanism for false positives and false negatives if someone needs to? For the moment, something? it's very, very, very basic. <laughs> uh, there's an icon when you can uh, say, okay, there's a problem in that picture. It's, it's not uh, uh, hidden automatically for the moment. We are going to implement that. Uh, but, uh, well, we are starting, but it's something we are, we are going to improve, yeah. Thank you. Who has the blue box? Oh, uh, yeah. just, just go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, since we already talked about legal things and things in different countries, I was wondering, um, what about cases where uh, images are taken in one country, but then the instance is hosted in another country? Because you have the law of uh, what what's the law about taking an image but then each instance also has its own regulation about the license and these kind of things for example so is there any thought about that is it best practice to kind of keep each image in an instance in the country where it's also taken or uh, am I overcomplicating things if you have any idea on that you know in OpenStreetMap France or IGN uh, instance we apply our local rules if you from another country decide to take picture and put them in our okay um, we cannot guarantee we will do what is required by your local law it's not possible uh, and uh, think about uh, existing services you don't ask for that uh. <laughs> so that's it's a it's that's also why the decentralized thing allow to tune locally uh, uh, to adapt to local rules that may not be the same as in many other countries. I think the federation is one of the greatest aspects of it. And that I'm just wondering if like then it means sometimes there's this hindrance of ha having to set up an instance first to make sure that the instance matches the legal requirements kind of. Well, you have to see the legal requirement and then True. install the instance. True, True. thank you. <laughs> Why is the, the blue mic? <laughs> I have the AI uh, software to recognize the traffic signs, and I can understand the traffic signs are linked to the uh, GPS position of the picture. Is there any further uh, positioning of the traffic sign done through the AI system, as in where exactly the picture is facing? Not for the moment, uh, but I tried if you want to do um, uh, with a sequence of picture and uh, do triangulation to, to determine where the sign is more precisely, um, it's something that looks possible. You need to have good GPS uh, position. That's, that's uh, the problem and good orientation uh, in, in the picture. Well, we are not sure about that. That's the, the problem. We try to see how to uh, have a flag to know that the, the, um, uh, the coordinates we have uh, are from a basic GPS or are from a high uh, resolution uh, GPS, RTK or things like that. Uh, because this is... Uh, if you know that the, 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 the metadata you have about the picture is a uh, high level of quality, you can do more uh, 
a calculation on it. Uh, we are working with uh, the, the French uh, service that determines what they call geo standards to determine uh, the, the basic uh, information that are required to, when a when, uh, local authority usually they, they, they ask a company to do the picture for themselves. And uh, the basic, uh, to have different level of quality uh, about the position, about uh, even the time in the day where you take the picture, because when you have the sun very, very <laughs> down on the 360 picture, it's not very good, uh, etc., etc. So we, we try to define quality profiles and we will try to have a flag in the picture to, to know that this is a, a, a picture with a quality on which you can do some uh, photogrammetry and things like that. By the way, uh, IGN created Micmac for photogrammetry. It's nice. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, first of all, thank you for the effort. I think many people in the community were waiting for a project like this. You mentioned that um, the storage will be a limiting factor in, in this kind of a project towards scalability. Um, I know this, this wouldn't be one of the first phases, but did you, for maybe further phases, uh, consider a broader federation approaches with systems such as IPFS, which would allow even a, a broader federation and hosting by people at a smaller scale? Um, IPFS, uh, the only thing is, it only brings one thing, it's a possible redundancy. Uh, but uh, your gigabyte uh, cost is still the same. It does not reduce uh, gigabyte cost. So, um, um, yes, we looked at, at these possibilities, but in fact, we consider that it was a, a better approach to have smaller instances where storage is not an issue, where, where you can handle the storage, instead of, of trying to have a big thing with a big network, uh, uh, because it's something more complex to set up. We may change uh, in the future. It's, uh, it's the first step, the first iteration of, of the, 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 the tool and the stack, and we'll see. Uh, one thing that may arise is, okay, you set up a local instance, you have you upload picture on this local instance. It would be nice to have a federated backup to organize a copy, at least to have one copy from another server in the federation. So that, uh, because having a backup of all the pictures is also an issue. <laughs> uh, so this is something, uh, it's not a priority, but it's something, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking about that without clear answer for the moment, but it's, uh, it's something we, we are thinking about, yeah. Still. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So if you position Panoramax as kind of competitor to Mapillary, do you think it can survive scale of Mapillary? So again, if previous talk was about 2 billion images, do you think we can put to build an images to Panoramax without kind of complete rewrite from scratch? I don't like the word competitor. It's an alternative. You have the choice. Um, yeah, uh, two billion picture. It, it's, uh, if you consider that, okay, someone has to host two billion picture, yes, it's not, uh, it's, it's not easy. But I think we can reach two, million, two billion picture if we have instance uh, that are hosting uh, a few hundred, uh, a few tens mil or hundred of million of pictures. So th the idea is uh, not to put all, in French we said, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So I offer a system not to have to put all our eggs in one basket. And one basket we do not control. I'd like to add to that that I think many governments, especially the Flemish government, will not upload their pictures to Mapillary, but they might create an instance or work together with OpenStreetMap Belgium to put their pictures on an instance that they have control over in some way. 
we discovered that many local authorities in France had pictures. They were not pushing them to my pillory because it was not okay for them. But they are okay to push them on IGN instance or set up their own instance. So we open a new way of uh, sharing that very useful content in a much more open way. And this is uh, weighted by a lot of people. More questions? You have more time for questions. Yeah, there's plenty of time, like 10 minutes. Lots of questions. I can add a few things. All the code is uh, on uh, GitLab. So, uh, and all the repository from the start has been in English. So, you should be able to follow all the commits and uh, issues and discussions we had on it. We, s s even if the project started in France, uh, I, I said, okay, we must think international from the start. A lot of people ask me, uh, why did OpenStreetMap has been so successful? Because other projects like OpenStreetMap started more or less at the same time. And my answer is, it's an English-based pro project. So it can go international much faster. And this is very important. Uh, okay. And I'm sorry for the very bad translation on the website for the moment. It's a quick and dirty one. <laughs> we will improve it. Um, if I could request one thing. Um, uh, so my company has been like showing that you can upload the data from our cameras to Mapillary and you can get good data back. Um, and if I would request one thing from, from this, it would be to have um, triangulation of the street signs. And I think there are a lot of governments who they don't care if their data is, is public or private, uh, but if they can just get this, then it would be a big reason for them to contribute their data um, to get it processed for free, and they don't care who else has access to it, but th this is really valuable to a lot of organizations. That's why it's the first thing I did uh, on top of, uh, after blurring faces and license plates, it's of course road signs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. the triangulation, I understand the, the yeah. need of it. Thank you. Uh, more questions? Oh, sorry. Uh, so what exactly is the level of support you can give if we want to set up our own instance? <laughs> <laughs> we are not going to set up to set it up for you because you want it's you know that i don't want to give you a fish i want to tell you how to, to catch fish maybe and, it's uh, a question about the quality of the tutorial <laughs> uh, yeah have a look at the, the documentation because uh, the the team really did a, a good job at documenting how to install etc etc when i installed the, the open suite map uh, instance I followed the documentation written by my colleagues. I, I, I'm, I'm not developing the, the, the stack, I don't know the details, etc. And uh, I, it was not the Docker version because I'm a, a bit uh, Docker allergic, uh, um, because I'm too old for Docker. And uh, the, the, so I installed it uh, following, uh, and when something was not clear in, in the documentation, I, we, changed, we changed it. So, the thing is, okay, follow our documentation. If you have a problem, don't stick to it. Uh, come to us. Uh, to follow on Jost's question, um, and to follow the analogy of the fishermen, um, maybe, you know, we buy our own boats, we buy our own fishing nets, but if the fishing net breaks, can we come to you asking how to fix and help us fix the fishing nets. Yeah. <laughs> we can help you choose a good fishing net. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's clear that when you start uh, to think, okay, we need an instance, we need, we need storage, uh, you have to think twice <laughs> before buying something or before renting something. 
The easy thing when you rent, it's quite easy to stop renting and renting another one, a bigger one, etc., etc. But the cost is really important. So if you want to minimize the cost, buying equipment is really uh, just okay. It's clearly not the same price. But as I said, all the equipment except the SSD and uh, Ethernet cable, it's used equipment. It's second-hand equipment. It's not new equipment. Okay, we have a remote question for the remote audience. So it's Eva Sprater or something like this. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, questioning about, uh, could we search images by metadata, like pictures of cars, monuments, with, uh, for example, OSM or Wikidata IDs? No, there's no, uh, it's, yeah, I did not mention it. Uh, there's no semantic information uh, on top of uh, the picture, but it's something that we really think about it. It's. Uh, uh, I would love to add the. Pos the first thing I think we are going to implement is uh, tags or things like that on picture sequence, to uh, to to give more details about the sequence. Has it been shot uh, on a bicycle or a car or by foot or by. Uh, Kayak. You have, we have people mapping uh, rivers, yeah. uh, or ski. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, and then the objects that are detected uh, in the picture. If we do much more detection, maybe we could expose that the result of the detection. One of the services uh, we are going to work on very quickly is the, the service to, okay, uh, do you have a picture that shows that object? Okay, that shows that uh, restaurant, that uh, bus stop, or whatever. It's something we are going to add uh, very quickly because uh, we have several public services in France who already ask for it. So, okay, it's something we are going to do. Yeah. But you can search by bounding box, you can uh, restrict to um, date range, uh, you can uh, uh, restrict uh, on the user who, who uh, uploaded the picture, and you also have um, uh, vector tiles, MVT tiles with uh, uh, metadata about the picture, so you, you, you can retrieve also uh, uh, very quickly information uh, that way. Is there other, yes, other question? Um. You mentioned um, that creating an app, to, a dedicated app to record uh, images is relatively high on the roadmap. Um, will you announce when it's, when it's ready in the forums or how can I know about it when it's done or when it's ready? Uh, when we start or when we think about starting it, uh, we will start by discussing on our forum about uh, that work uh, to see what people are expecting and the best way to do it. Uh, for example, is, do we start from scratch or do we improve an existing app that is uh, that takes pictures. For, I'm thinking on Android, on open camera. Uh, there's very small things that are missing in open camera. Uh, it's the only thing that are missing is stop taking picture when I'm not when I'm not moving. Uh, it's it's very basic, in fact. So uh, and uh, a display of where we already have picture or shot pictures, so that you don't go uh, at the same place uh, many times. But except that, it's not that complex. Yes. Hi, uh, I have a small question. Um, we've been talking about pictures outside, but can you also add pictures from inside buildings, public buildings, for instance? Uh, this may be a legal thing mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, uh, Making public picture of public places is okay. Making public picture of private space 
in France, it's, 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 uh, you need an authorization for that. But, uh, for example, um, the, the, the French railway, they, di they did shot pictures in all their station. And uh, it's something they are using on a, a GeoVisio uh, server. It's not federated with Panoramax because they don't want to expose them publicly. But internally, uh, a company, an organization uh, that need that kind of thing can use our stack. Yeah, it, the, the software stack is not limited to, the use of it is not limited to, to publish picture. Uh, you can also use uh, in a private way. Huh? Simon. Christian. Oui. One, two, three. Okay, Christian, I, I have a <laughs> question that we've already discussed in, in outside of this venue. Um, how involved would it be to change the face and license plate detection and the blurring that it would completely blur cars and people? Um, because at but least in German speaking, um, yeah, uh, it's you're, that's technically probably it's a requirement. Technically it's possible. We even started with a model that was doing it uh, that way. Uh, we realized that uh, the, the resulting picture was uh, really looking awful. So we, and, and also the, 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 the GPU power you need for that is more important. So it's segmentation and not object detection. There's already models that are trained for that. Some of them have been trained by Mapillary. So, and they are open, you can use them. It's possible to change the, that's why the blurring service is a separate service. If you want to do the blurring in another way, no problem. The, the, all the other stack in, in, pan, in your Panoramax instance uh, has no problem with that. If you are not doing blurring, when you have a private instance, there's no problem. Actually, one, one thing that comes to my mind immediately, probably what you want to blur as well is windows. Windows? Windows, yeah. Right. Only in Germany, more Germany and Austria. So you're talking about 100 million population. <laughs> so. Yes, that's why I said, okay, local rules, local implementation. But it's open and uh, what the, the, the code we if you if you want to train to detect windows to blur windows i think it's a, something that is possible this is the yeah. Yeah. not too complex uh, maybe it's over if you so, have other question uh, no time's over <laughs> okay <laughs> so thanks a lot uh, Christian and your quest and uh, uh, so applause <laughs> again.